In this video, I'll be going over how to set up the Echo Show 15. Welcome back to another video. I'm your tech guide, Wayne. In the video today, I'll be walking you through how to set up the new Echo Show 15. This is a pretty interesting upgrade to the Echo Show line. It serves kind of a different purpose. It's gonna serve as something you can set up, use as a calendar to keep track of things, uh, really just adding to the already awesome Echo Show line with just a lot more bells and whistles. So let's jump in and just walk through how to set it up. We're on the setup screen here. We've already plugged it in. We're just gonna select our language. Okay. Ready for setup. So after language, it will ask you to select your Wi-Fi network and enter the password. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. Once you enter your Wi-Fi password, you're gonna hit done and it will connect. It will also talk you through the setup as well. So uh, I will pause my voice whenever uh, Alexa speaks. And here we go. So it found our account. So it's already linked with my Amazon. So it's just asking me to enter the password for my Amazon account. If yours doesn't come up or it says a name you're not familiar with, simply hit the switch accounts button and you can enter your Amazon account, email address, and password so you can have it linked with your account. Okay, so I've entered my account information so it can register. Um, it will send your phone or one of your registered devices uh, a one-time pin just to verify that uh, it is you that is signed again, which is just, again, an extra security measure. So we have our code here and we'll enter that now. And this should complete the registration and then should take us next to the setup and customization uh, options. All right, so all the time zone information is correct. I'm gonna hit continue. It will generally pull that data from your Wi-Fi network. Now on this screen, it, it will show your address as well. You'll just need to confirm um, the address and then hit continue. Next, you can name the room that it's in. So I'm gonna select office and you can name it as well. And I'm just gonna add 15, Wayne's Echo Show 15, continue. So next you can select what type of photos you would like it to play. Um, you can have it play, you know, just generic pictures or you can have it pull from your Amazon photos, whatever you've uploaded to your cloud. Uh, in this case, I'm just gonna do uh, seasonal pictures. Uh, in fact, no, I'll do nature and hit continue. But um, I'm sure you can go into settings later and adjust that to your uh, specific photos of family and friends if you'd like to you know, change it up. So next it will prompt for a device update, which is saying it's gonna take about 15 minutes. So obviously we will updating this device. come back once the update is complete. As I install the update. And now we're on to our next setup prompt, which is about your appointments. You can set up your profile for yourself and each of your family members, and Alexa will keep track of them all. Uh, I'm gonna skip this for now, but come back to this maybe later. So this screen here is an option where you can enable live streaming for someone to monitor the home. Now think about this, for example, if you were to set this up for uh, an elderly family member and you didn't live with them, but you wanted to be able to check in on them, you could enable this feature and then you could open up your Alexa app and you could basically check in on them by seeing through the camera here in the corner. Uh, I am not gonna be enabling this because this will just be in my office and I would not like anyone to be able to live stream my office at any time. However, um, for some of you, this might be a feature that makes sense. Again, a family member who you need to keep an eye on, this is a great feature. And it does also say there is an indicator that will show up on the screen that will let them know that someone is live streaming through the camera. So, you know, just some good things to think about. I'm gonna hit not now 
and we'll keep moving. Next we have what is called Amazon Sidewalk, uh, which is a feature, so I'm just gonna read it because it's long, but it says it's a shared network that helps devices work together. Sidewalk can help you help your compatible devices automatically connect or reconnect to your router. It can also extend the coverage for sidewalk enabled devices such as ring smart lights, pet object trackers, um, basically uh, different devices that are on the network of Alexa. Um, it uses a small portion of your internet bandwidth to provide these share services to you and your neighborhood. The settings will apply to all your supported Echo devices and Ring devices that are linked to Amazon, your account. You can update this setting anytime. Uh, so again, this is a feature that I don't necessarily like because it's gonna be using some of your internet, your home internet, and it's gonna provide it to a bigger internet that will power other uh, Alexa devices in other homes. So you have to obviously say you agree or disable. I'm gonna disable it personally, but um, you know, choose what works best for your situation. And let's see, here's another feature that's kind of connected to the sidewalk feature, which is um, they're also again trying to explain what is sidewalk. Help your neighbors find pets and important items connected to their sidewalk by sharing your approximate location. The setting will apply to all your Echo devices. Uh, once again, I don't want to, it's basically saying, do you want to share your location? And I'm going to disable because I don't want to share my location. Again, do what's best for you. Now we have a commercial for their music service. So Amazon Music Unlimited, which is just $4.99 a month. Um, don't need it, but so Amazon does have their normal music service, which is free. The Unlimited just gives you access to more songs. So it's up to you. I'm going to hit no thanks for now. Keep moving. It's funny, this feels like just a really big iPad as I'm this using it. Is ready. And that's it. We have successfully made it through our setup. And this is what the generic home screen will look like. And then you'll be able to go to each section and then do Hi further customization. I'm excited to show you a few things that you may not have tried yet. Let's get started. I can help you discover new places. Try saying, find nearby coffee shops. Find nearby coffee shops. Hmm. Let's try again. Alexa, say, find hmm. nearby coffee shops. Here are a few nearby coffee shops. From here you can get more details like business hours, address, and more. So here we go. That's one of the cool features. Like an intercom. I won't actually send out this announcement, but try saying, announce dinner is ready. Alexa, announce dinner is ready. Announcing. I'll cancel that announcement for now. This is a great way to send messages to everyone in your household. I can keep track of the things you want to buy at the store by adding them to your shopping list. Just say things like, add milk to my shopping list. Alexa, add milk to my shopping list. Okay, I've added milk to my shopping list. Use your list in my companion app when you are shopping. You can manage items in your shopping list at the end of this introduction either by asking me or through your mobile app. I can help you customize your home screen. With widgets, you can see your favorite features at a glance. Try saying, what widgets can I add? Alexa, what widgets can I add? Here are the widgets you can add. So we have... The last two things I want to show you will help you navigate your device. You can access settings like Do Not Disturb and browse new things to try by swiping down from... Okay, so there's one of our menus here and a swipe left to bring up this menu right here. One more time. Also add your widgets right here. Access your smart home devices. Um, watch videos. Let's see, I think we can drag this. Oh, there we go. 
And here is where we can find our, our widget gallery or rearrange our widgets. So let's try rearrange. So maybe you say, I don't want recommended music, so I can just hit the X to get rid of that. Um, if you want to get rid of the tips, we can just X that out. We can now hit done and then we can hit our widget gallery and look to see what other widgets will be available. I like the calendar widget, I wanna add that one. And then we have our commute. So in the morning you could see how long it takes you to get to work. You can have what are called cook pad recipes, recipe of the day, get ideas for things to make for dinner. Have our photos, our games. I like the sticky note here. I can add a widget and have a specific reminder for myself on the screen. That's pretty cool. Our shopping list is already there. I can have a shortcut to some of my favorite smart home devices. Trevor Noah, <laughs> Daily Show, that's funny. Uh, we can add our own to-do list. That's pretty cool, I like that. Weather, we can have that as well, I like that. And what to watch. Oh, that's pretty cool too. Track your um, Amazon uh, package deliveries as well. Okay, so let's go back. And now that we've added a few more widgets, we have the date. We can say, you know, the hot phrase and we can add an event to our calendar, which is cool. Add some things to our to-do list. We can have a sticky message for later. And I can see this in a lot of houses, just being in the hallway and you can add messages for your family. So when they come through, they can see it. So yeah, that is pretty cool. So this is the end of our video. Again, I just wanted to focus on getting you through that initial setup screen and kind of show you what the basic home screen would look like. I'm gonna play around with it and see what other fun features I'll find. And hopefully you'll find another video from me soon, which is tips and tricks and cool things you can do with your uh, Echo Show 15. So if you found the video helpful, hit that like button down below. If you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and as always, have a good one.